you having any fun at the National Women's Show? Well, we've got an amazing lady coming on stage who I grew up with, and I'm sure you did as well. She's an award-winning Canadian journalist, and uh, Platinum Naturals is pleased to bring her to the show, uh, promoting a lot of their products, one being a menopause, menopause product, which she um, is her brand ambassador for. So first of all, I'd like to get a scream for Dini Petty. The Latin scream gets a t-shirt. Thank you. Hello there. One of the things that we women have in common is we get to go through some uh, similar experiences. Identical, but we all do it a little bit differently. And one of the biggest problems that we have in our lives has to do with uh, our hormones being balanced or being out of balance. So when they're out of balance and you're young, and this is how I describe menopause and perimenopause to young women. Ever had a bad day, bad night of PMS? Well, imagine that bad PMS going 24-7. 30 days a month and 12 months a year, and that's bad menopause. So all of these problems that we have, perimenopause, menopause, postpartum depression, PMS, all happens because our hormones are out of balance. In our bodies, in our endocrine system, our master gland, the pituitary, is always trying to balance out our hormone. And if given half a chance, it will do that. But each woman will go through a different life. I mean, the children, for those of us who have children, we all go through childbirth, but trust me, everybody's story, as you well know, is a little bit different. What I learned after having my first child was the woman in the next bed always has a much worse story than yours, so your story becomes immediately irrelevant. Every month, our friend comes to visit when we are young, but we all experience that differently, and so it is with perimenopause and menopause. The nice thing about menopause, perimenopause is just the lead up to the big show. The big show menopause happens when your friend so if one woman said I was doing a seminar, she said, my friend hasn't come for a few months. I said, your friend? Oh, you mean your period? Yes, my friend. When your friend does not show up for 12 months in a row, congratulations, you are officially in menopause. And it comes in four categories, mild, medium, bad. I was what's known as a bad case, and you don't want to know about those who are in number four. It's really awful. It, it's unbelievable. In the very mild, mild cases, there are a lot of women who go through menopause and go, you know what, I didn't notice anything. I might have had a hot flash, maybe a little bit, which tells you that a female body is designed to make the transition and carry on as if nothing had happened. And that would be perfect. So that's the great category. About 20% of women are there, and if you're there and you tell me I should get a tear in my eye, goes, you are so lucky you are blessed. In the medium category, they go, oh, I've got a few hot flashes. Here are the, the symptoms of menopause. The first, the three big ones are hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness. After that, you get heart palpitations, urinary urgency, anxiety, depression, violent mood swings, brain fog. It just takes over your life. So the mild one go, oh, just a few things. The medium have, well, you know, it's really interfering with my life a bit. I was what's known as a bad case. I hit menopause when I was 50, and my time in perimenopause was only about four months, and then after that, my friend never showed up again. And I ended up with, uh, I woke up twice every single night. I would wake up and my pajamas were completely soaked in sweat. Somebody said, well, why didn't you wear pajamas? Because if I didn't wear pajamas, I had to change the sheets on the bed. So I get up to my pajamas, put on a new set, go back to bed, and wake up three hours later to do the whole thing all over again. In the daytime, I would have 20 hot flashes that would last two to two and a half minutes where the roots of my hair would get wet and I'd get perspired hair. I'd go a bright red and I'd stand there just like, <sighs> people say, what's the matter? Nothing. I have violent mood swings. It took over my life. I'm a strong woman. I've been through a lot of my life. 
Menopause took me to my knees. It almost killed me. The fourth category, and there are women who are, who are much worse than I was. And I have met women who, when they hit menopause, either cried or went into a rage 24-7. There are women who spend their lives hiding in the, in the laundry room because they're crying, they're so hysterical. It just, it's, it's really, really bad. So, I was 50 years of age, but I had um, heard about this thing called hormone replacement therapy, and after trying to deal with it naturally, because I've been in the alternative field most of my life, um, nothing was working for me, so I ordered some hormone replacement therapy, and within a week all my symptoms were gone, and I bowed at the shrine of pharmaceutical, and I was like, thank you, I'm so happy. However, in the year 2001, the Women's Health Initiative came out, and that report called off the clinical trial on hormone replacement therapy because it killed so many women. The problem with it is they would put all of these hormones into your body so that some would get to your receptor sites, and they did. But now you've got all this stuff floating around your body, and your master gland is going, where am I going to store this stuff? OK, I'll put some in the breast. The incidence of breast cancer went up. OK, I've got some left over. I'll put it in the blood. The incidence of heart attack and stroke went up. OK, I'll put some in the uterus. Uterine cancer went up. In 2001, they called off that study. And like millions of other women, I went off HRT the next day. I went like, I'm not doing that. And I went right back into it. Now, at that time, I was very blessed. I have a dear friend named Marion Marshall, who was a medical herbalist and a menopause expert. She said, do not worry, Dee. I'll just whip you up some stuff here. And Marion whipped me up all kinds of concoctions, and nothing worked for me. Nothing. And I was getting worse, and I'm waking up every night doing this. Every day, it's going on. Bad menopause is like somebody takes a ball peen hammer and starts smacking you with it, and they just never quit. One morning I get up, I was at the, my kitchen sink and I had a really bad hot flash. And I started crying. I ended up on the floor in a ball, sobbing like a kid. I called the drugstore and I said, send me the HRT. I will take the risk. I don't have a life anymore. This is, this is not living. Unbeknownst to me, my friend Marion was on an international chat room with other herbalists from around the world. Two weeks later, she called me. She said, look, I heard about these two herbs. You call me Ulmoy. I said, oh yeah, I know that stuff really well. What are you talking about? And Mung Bean. You call me, it comes from the bark of a, a tree that's a renewable resource, and Mung Bean has fed the word, world for years. She said, will you try it? I said, Marion, I would do anything. I went on this stuff, and about nine days later, I called Marion one morning, and I was crying because I was so happy because I'd actually slept through the night. I had slept, Mary, and I slept through the night. I didn't wake up and sweat. Completely handled every single one of my symptoms, so I was in joy. Unfortunately, Mary passed away. Those herbs are very hard to get. And now I'm 68 today. This January I will be, thank you, yes. I'm alive. I made it. I'm still here. And I look hot. And you remember me when you were, I was in the helicopter, you're giving away our age. I was 22 years old and I flew a little pink helicopter. I was the pilot. It was Pepto Bismol pink. The pilot wore a pink jumpsuit. They went with the ch cheesy pink shag carpet in the helicopter. They went with the pink car. I could have been the flying pink bimbo of the year award, but I was the pilot. She can't be a complete idiot. She's flying that thing. So from there, I end up here, and I'm now back to menopause, and I don't have these herbs anymore. And someone, the universe, brought me to lunch with a fellow named David Kang, who is the founder and president of Platinum Naturals. And I didn't know much about his product, and I didn't know much about David. So we have a very long lunch, and he very kindly sends me some of his product. I started taking his uh, vitamins, and what's so, Platinum Naturals are arguably the best vitamins in Canada, they're made here, and in the world. And what is so good about them is they are in high-grade oil. When I was a young reporter at City TV, there was a story that I always call the porta potty story, because they put screens in hundreds of porta potties 
After six months, they washed out the screens and they found tens of thousands of undigested hard vitamin pills. As you age, your digestion slows down and your absorption ability slows down. So if you're taking a hard vitamin and your body's not breaking it down, it's going right through you, throwing your money down the porta potty. Platinum Naturals vitamins are a very high grade oil. It's a proprietary um, formula, which means it's a secret. But because it's an incredibly high grade oils, all the vitamins and minerals, when it gets into your body, your body goes You'll actually hear that sound one day. You go, oh my God, I must be on Platinum Naturals. I took these vitamins and five days later, I called David at his office and I said, what's in these? He said, why? I said, I feel like I just stuck my finger in a light socket. My energy went. <gasps> now I also knew I was anemic and I'd been dealing with it through diet, eating far more spinach and oysters and, and cream of wheat than I ever want to look at again. Uh, and if you are anemic, the problem is a lot of the iron products will make you constipated, but because his are in the oils, your body absorbs them and there's no problem. So I took those and my stamina came back. It's not bad for a 68-year-old woman. I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good on this stuff. So David and I started talking about my working with Platinum Naturals as a brand ambassador. And I said, David, you've got to do something about this menopause thing for women. You have no idea how bad it is. I mean, it's so terrible for some of us. Please, we need help. And he, he said, you know what? I'll look into it. And he did some research and came to me one day and said, not only am I going to do this product with eucomia ulmite in it and the mung beans, but I'm going to put it in dark chocolate. My mouth dropped open and I went, that's a really, really smart idea. Because the chocolate, like the oils, when it gets into your body, your body loves chocolate. It absorbs it. And by the way, did you know that chocolate is super, super good for you? Did you know how good it is for you? It is decreased risk of heart disease, reduced blood pressure, improved cholesterol levels, positive impact on brain and mood, and weight loss. Chocolate has been shown to help with weight loss through its effect on metabolism. Heart disease. Recent research demonstrates cocoa's effects are beneficial on blood pressure, insulin resistance, vascular, and platelet function. Chocolate has a things in a, uh, called flavanols, and they are anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant. When it comes to reduce blood pressure, the blood blood pressure lowering properties of chocolate are thought to be again due to these fabulous things called flavanols. Numerous studies have linked blood pressure reductions with very reasonable size indulgent as low as 0.2 ounces of good chocolate a day. It improves your cholesterol level. It's associated with significant decreased LDL cholesterol, which is the bad, and increased HDH. It's good for your brain and for your mood. And if you'd like to lose weight, 2012 published in the Archives of Internal Medicine report that frequent chocolate consumption is associated with a lower body mass index. We're not talking a chocolate bar a day here, okay? We're talking a little tiny square. Uh, maybe we could start passing them out now. The handsome gentleman who's about to stand up is David King, the founder and the owner of Platinum Nachos. And the man who came up with this brilliant menopause idea, and there, and this is Sonia, who works with us at Platinum Mattress, who's brilliant and beautiful. And you'll see that each little square of chocolate, dark chocolate, is individually wrapped. The chocolate itself is uh, from renewable resource. It's organically farmed. We work with a... Um, a founding member of the Heirloom Cocoa Preservation Initiative, and they have traditional methods which are organic. So the chocolate is good and the product is wonderful. If you're in perimenopause, you're having some of those symptoms. As I said, it's just the warm up for the big shows. So if you're having a few of those symptoms, this product will help you get through it. It's very important that you support your body as you're going through perimenopause and menopause with good vitamins. When your ovaries move to Venezuela one night while you're sleeping, it is your adrenals, which are little walnut-sized things on top of your kidneys that will take over. 
But the adrenals also handle the stress in your life. So if you've got a lot of stress in your life and you decide you're just going to tough it out, you will start a dwindling spiral. You will not get better, you'll get worse. You put more stress on your body, the perimenopause puts more stress, your adrenals can't handle it, and if you burn your adrenals out, there is no way back. It cannot be fixed. There is no solution. I, um, I recall when Marion was with me uh, meeting a woman who burned herself out. She was caregiving. She was doing all the things that we all get involved in. She was caregiving, she was uh, a big responsible job, she wasn't eating properly, she wasn't, and she burned out her adrenals. And there is nothing that can be done when that happens. So before you get there, you need to support your body. You need to support your adrenals, which handle the stress. I take the SEM, Super Easy Multivitamin, plus 45 for women. There's also a product called Active X, which has more B vitamins. David, the Active X has more B in it than the SEM. More B vitamins in the Active X. You can here just more adaptogen. So if you're under more stress, I have Active X at home and I have the Super Easy Multi. So if I'm going to go to North Bay and do a speech at night and I put in in this 16, 17 hour day and I'm like, okay, this is going to be a long one. Uh, I, my super easy multi in the morning and about f three hour, four hours before I have to do the speech and then be charming afterwards. Uh, I take two of the Active X. Check out the platinum products. They are the best vitamins, arguably the best vitamins made in the world and they are Canadian. 40% um, of people cannot swallow pills. Anybody here is like, yeah, there's people like, I can't swallow pills. Okay, so the menopause relief is in chocolate, and it comes in a lovely box like this. It's the Deco, Deco, as in Art Deco, the Deco line. This is the menopause relief. But there's a vitamin in chocolate for adults, for those of you who can't swallow pills, in dark chocolate. Um, and for kids who hate swallowing pills, there's a milk chocolate vitamin. So take care of your needs. Um, something popped into my mind a minute ago, and then it popped right out while I was babbling about something else. One of the other things that happens to younger women, uh, anybody, well, no, you don't have to put your hand up. A lot of young girls go through uh, monthly, go through their period and have a really, really hard time. My daughter was one of those people uh, who would end up in bed crying for a couple of days, curled up in a ball. She says, and we sometimes think that, well, my mother didn't have a hard time with menopause. I'm not going to have a hard time. Um, it's not necessarily true, although I hope it is for some of you. But if you're a younger person and your hormones are out of balance, I gave my daughter some of the Eucomia and the mung bean, and after a couple of months, it helps to balance out your hormones, which is really all you want to do in life. The three worst symptoms of menopause, as I said, are hot flashes, night sweats, and vaginal dryness, which gets so bad you, you just won't have sex. It just hurts too much. I was on a radio show being interviewed by a man on CF, uh, CFRB, and he said, well, you did this article, and you mentioned vaginal dryness, and I think that's disgusting. I said, whoa, whoa, how long have we been talking about erectile dysfunction? And we can say that, right? Well, if these older guys are going to have that problem, aren't they going to want someone to do it with? Maybe even their wife? So maybe we should solve all problems. The variations on menopause are very complex. You can have all of the above symptoms. Of all of the seminars I've done, and that's close to 100 of them, I start, we started hearing a lot of women saying, I never had headaches before. I'm getting terrible headaches. So. Whatever your symptoms are, they can be handled. Nothing works for everyone, nothing. Uh, on the studies that, we've been, uh, that have been done on eucomia, they uh, did a trial with 149 women and they found 58% of them got complete relief. When we did the chocolate, we got some women together and we put them on the dark chocolate, menopausal women. And we had, they had 60% adults. Like the hot flashes went, the nights went sweat. The nights sweat sweat? Say that quickly. The nights sweats went.
Thank you. You got it. So it's critically important that you take care of yourself, love. Um, when I was 65 years old, I decided I was old enough to give advice. Now that I'm 68, I decided I'm old enough to take my own advice. And you know, that's proving to be the hard part. Giving advice is pretty simple. But what I did, as I wrote my advice down in a poem that is called Take Care of Yourself, Love. And it goes something like this. Take care of yourself, love, because if you don't, no one else will. My grandmother's advice, Edith Petty, born 1900 to 1978, to which this granddaughter, born 1945 to who knows when, adds, Throw yourself at the world. Seize every moment and every opportunity. And when you fail, and you will fail, drop gracefully to the ground and do whatever you have to do. Then get up and go at it again and again and again until life itself sings through your soul. But wherever you go, whatever you do, take care of yourself, love. Because if you don't, no one else will. I have um, some time left. My people are up marching around, or will they? Do they just throw you off the stage here? I have some time left, David. I've got a good five or ten minutes. All right, I'll just keep going until they throw me off here. One of the things I talk about in taking care of yourself is, and I'm just going to give you this information as a gift. I'm an expert on low self-esteem because I had it most of my life. I didn't realize till I was 50 years of age that chronically picking on yourself inside and beating yourself up is low self-esteem. Self-confidence and low self-esteem are two different subjects. Self-confidence is number of times through equals self-confidence. The first time you do the new makeup on the face, the first time you do the new recipe or drive the car, you're not very good. The 100th time you've made that recipe, you're not even looking at the book anymore. You're doing your face in the 100th time in two minutes, and you're starting to drive the car, okay? Number of times through equals self-confidence. Self-esteem is how you think about yourself inside. And most of us have low self-esteem because most of us come from dysfunctional families. Although, like my dysfunctional family, oh yes, there we are, a couple of dysfunctional people here. My family was always in the bronze medal every year for dysfunctionality. We never won, but we were contenders every single year. So many of us come from families where there was an addiction to drugs. We'll make prescription drugs, which is a bigger problem. Street drugs, we make alcoholism its own little category. Then there is extreme religious or philosophical upbringing. There is extreme poverty, there's verbal abuse, there's mental abuse, there's sexual abuse. If you take the number of us who come from these families, it's a lot more than 50% of us. But all us dysfunctional families dressed up on Sunday, when I went, well, you look good, oh yes, we're fine, and you look good too, don't you? Because you always keep it secret. I'm going to tell you how you learn low self-esteem, and I'm going to tell you how you can fix it. If you were raised in a dysfunctional family, you're treated with disrespect. You're so stupid, you're such an idiot, you're too fat, you're too dumb, you're too wham bam. And you learn it's okay to disrespect yourself. And there's the lesson. You learn it's okay to disrespect yourself. But let's assume you came from a totally functional, wonderful family, but you're different. And your family treats you with respect. But you're too tall, you're too short, you're too thin, you're too big, you're the wrong color, you're the wrong religion. There's something physically wrong with you. God forbid your sexuality's wrong. And you leave your respectful family and you go to school, your classmates will teach you how to disrespect yourself. So low self-esteem is disrespecting yourself. How to fix it and turn it into good self-esteem is to change it into respect, and here are the basics of taking care of yourself, love. Food, water, rest, and exercise. Food, water, rest, and exercise. Most people don't eat properly. We take better care of our cars than we do our bodies. You would not leave your home in the morning and get in your car with no gas in the tank or oil in the engine. It'd be stupid. 
But how many times do you leave in the morning without feeding this? You get one body, you'll have a bunch of cars. Most people don't drink enough water, are not getting enough sleep, and who has time to exercise? So respect comes from taking care of yourself first. Eat properly. Get enough sleep. Figure out how to do this. It took me one year from the time I was 50 years old and realized I had low self-esteem. And here's, I love telling the story. I walked into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror at 2 o'clock in the morning. And in the mirror I saw a woman who I thought was beautiful outside and in. And it was the first time I have ever looked in the mirror and seen myself that way. The rest of the time I do what we do. Oh my God, my wrinkles, I'm so fat, I'm too skinny, this is wrong. Every time I looked in the mirror, all I ever saw was what was wrong with Deanie Petty. And this one night I looked in the mirror and I saw a beautiful woman inside and out. <laughs> it only took 50 years. And I learned that chronically, the smarter you are, if you have low self-esteem, the more ways you find to beat yourself up inside. And to switch that around, it took me at least a year to figure out how to take care of myself first with my food, water, rest, and exercise. Get those things and take care of yourself, love. Get yourself on some good vitamins. And if you're perimenopause or menopause, for heaven's sakes, try Deco Menopause Relief. Um, do I still have time? Because I can go for another three days here, you know, before they start throwing things. Does anybody have any questions that they wanted to ask? A man has a question. I can't hear you. You know what? I, in the seminars that I've done as I travel across the country, I would have a couple of men come up to me afterwards, and their wives, one guy I remember, his wife, oh my gosh, she was such a mess. She's the one that was raging or crying. He came up and he said, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't think I can deal with this. So it is. Menopause is not just a woman's problem. It's your wife's problem, your sister, your mother. It's something that really needs to be dealt with and talked about. And care about. Yes. I'm reading your lips. Your sister's having hot flashes. Your wife. And si okay. Yes. Yeah, hot flashes are one of the first signs of menopause. Actually, mine was I woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah, you know that one that you start waking up every night? You're like, what's going on here? And then the hot flashes. A good, really good vitamin to support your adrenals. I probably recommend a Platinum Natural. And this Deco for menopause relief. It's actually a blessing and a wonderful thing. Yes. Oh, where do they sell it? Platinum Naturals are sold at good health food stores. If you go on their website, Platinum Naturals, uh, put in your postal code, it will tell you where you can get it. And you can also find me through their website, so if you go on it, let me know. I just want to hear the, I slept through the night, thank you, I'm so happy. There is a booth here. I'm going to leave and go over to the booth. We'll be in the 600 aisle if there's a couple of things you wanted to talk about quietly. Um, one piece of information I'd like to give out just before I leave, there's a wonderful book called Misinformed Consent. If you ever hear the word hysterectomy or know any woman in your world, get her to read that book. It's a very valuable piece of information. But whatever you do, wherever you go, Take care of yourself, love, because if you don't, no one else will. Thank you.